One of the important topic in statistical analysis to study the relationship between variables. These can be done through tabulation by using a technique cross tabulation or in pre cross tab. In cross tab we can build a table to represent a relationship between two or more categorical variables, nominal or ordinal variables. The size of table is determined by the number of destiny value for each variable, and these will be represented in row and column. Each cell of that table represents a unique combination of values related to both variables. The most important task to decide which variable affects which. In other words, some variables may be very strongly related. For example, the level of income of a person will affect what he or she will own. You can see that on the table below. To create a cross tab and data view window, go for the toolbar, select the tab, analyze, a pop down menu will appear, select descriptive statistic, a side window will appear and then check cross tab. A dialog box will appear in your screen. The dialog box of cross tab have several objects. One big tray to the left in which the list of all variables included your, in your data file are shown. Two small tray located to the right of that tray. The first one or the top one for row, the middle one for column, and the bottom one for layers. Some tabs located to the right side of dialog box and some other tabs located at its bottom. From left tray you can pick the variable will be listed in row and pass it to the tray through the arrow. And once again from the left tray you can select the column the row the the variable will be presented in column and pass it to the right tray using arrow. Till now let's start just with two variables. Click OK and let's see what we are going to get. This table will be shown in output view in your package. You can study the content of that table to notice the number and rectangular show the category of income from 25 to 49 and what person or BDA is. 
So each item in that table reflect one cat from row and other category from column. It is quite clear that none of these number can give us any indication or any obvious result about the relationship between the variables. It is often difficult to analyze the cross population content simply by looking to the number in each cell. We may need further analysis to be added to our table. Simply, you can tell if you look for the column Pinis yes. Second row, it looks it is more than twice the value of the first row. But is that meaningful? We don't know. We need more evidence to make our conclusion in the right way. Like adding a percentage for each cell or percentage for row or column. To do so, go back and reactivate the cross tabulation dialog box and from the right tabs pick cells and click it. In the new dialog box, check the row percentage and click continue tab at the bottom of the dialog box. It's clear that your table become more large than before and the percentage are shown below the count for each cell. The main target of using cross tab to show the relationship or lack of relation between two variables. From the cross tab, we may get an evidence about the relationship between any two variables. But from the counting or percentage, we cannot decide whether this relationship is significant or not. For that reason, some other tests are built in in your technique. One of the important tests, the chi-square test, which can be applied for any type of data. To include the chi-square test in your output, go back once again to the cross tabulation dialog box. From the tab located to its right side, pick a statistic and click it. You will get a new dialog box. In this dialog box, check the chi square test in the top to the left of that screen. A new table will appear below the cross tab table to represent the chi square result. As you know, the chi square test having two hypotheses. The null hypothesis is that the two variables are independent, while the alternative, the two hypotheses are related or dependent. The left column in the chi-square table shows a significant value for the test, from which this value can be compared with a significant level you decide. We actually recommend that using alpha 
equal 0.05%. So, as we know from a statistic course, a large significant value means the two variables are independent, while a smaller value of significance reveals the opposite. In this table, the significance level is very, very small, so we can conclude the two variables are related. You may be interested to add a third variable to your cross tab. This can be done through the layer tray in cross tab dialog box. The lower tray to the right of the left tray. The third variable Sometimes we call it a control variables because it may reveal how the relationship between row and column changes when you control for the effect of the third variables. To add the third variables, go back once again to cross cross tab dialog box the original two variables still there in row and columns pick the third variables from left tray and pass it to layer tray through the arrows and press ok your output view show the new tables it became larger than before because of the third variable effect. But if you look to the chi-square table, you may have conclude some other result that wasn't shown before. As you can tell, from the table in this slide.